It happens once in a blue moon, but tonight's bright moon is even rarer, and it may not happen for another 15 years. A blue moon and a super moon happening all at once. Fox 2's Jordan Williams is live to explain how rare and different tonight's phenomenon is. Jordan? Hey, good evening, Mandy. You can see that super blue moon just over my shoulder now. It was really at the peak of its powers at around 830. It's still pretty beautiful and bright. And you said it may not happen for another 15 years. I sat down with the president of the St. Louis Astronomical Society to find out just how rare this phenomenon truly is. On Wednesday, the third and largest super moon of the year rises in the night sky. People always like to know when it's the biggest and super moon is a good name. It's the second full moon of the month, hence the blue moon moniker. At 222,000 miles away from Earth, it's about 100 miles closer than any other supermoon this year. Visually, it's not really that spectacular. Uh, you're not going to look at the full moon tonight and say, wow, that's so different than other full moons. Because it's only about 100 miles closer, Jim Small with the STL Astronomical Society says the difference between Wednesday night's supermoon and any other is about the difference between a 15 and 16 inch pizza from about 100 feet away. But the fact that it's a blue moon, which happens once every two and a half years, aligning with a supermoon still makes it a sight to behold. Having it in conjunction with a supermoon, that's pretty rare. The next super blue moon similar to this one may not happen until 2037. So Small says if you can, you should definitely go out and take a peek. One other thing I do want to mention as well, Saturn is just to the upper right hand corner of the moon as well. And if you want to get a closer look this Friday, the St. Louis Astronomical Society and the St. Louis Science Center are hosting a free telescope viewing. It's from 6 to 9 p.m. this Friday at the McDonald Planetarium in Forest Park in in Kirkwood. Jordan Williams, <laughs> Fox 2 News. <laughs>